I welcome you in the course of Leadership Emotional Intelligence and Decision Making. This is module number 29 and we are going to talk about how mindfulness can help leaders. When we talk about mindfulness, the leaders are supposed to be having higher levels of mindfulness capability. And in this mindfulness capability, the leaders are supposed to visualize the world with an open eye, with a broader vision, with a holistic view. And they should be able to understand that what are the ups and downs going on in the environment, what are the circumstances, conditions and constraints prevalent in the world, and how those conditions and constraints are going to create certain issues and problems for the organization. The second aspect which a leader should be having in his mind is that how he or she would potentially act in response to the circumstances of the environment, in response to the conditions and constraints prevailing in the industry. So a leader must be mindful. And the third aspect which the leader needs to understand is that what are the results that he or she is going to target or on results say organization ki survival or long term sustainability ke upar kya asrat muratab wo honge. So to be a mindful person the leader should be visualizing the circumstances and obviously the ways jin se usne un circumstances ko tackle wo karna hai. Another important thing is basically related to the leadership training and that leadership training is going to create the mindfulness in the leader. And in that particular training, the leader is supposed to pay attention and incorporate the learning procedures and the memory processes jisse ke wo apne conscious mind ko zyada activate wo kar sake. The second thing is that the leader needs to regulate his or her emotions. Usko emotional regulation ki jo practice hai, wo karni hai. And obviously, wo emotional regulation, uske emotional intelligence ke saath bhi associated hai. So, in an emotional intelligence, along with the empathy and self-awareness, self-regulation is another very important factor, jisse ke aap apne emotional intelligence ko behtar wo kar paate ho. The third thing related to the mindfulness training is talking about self-referential processing. Jisme ke aap is baat ko zhen mein rakhte ho ke wo koon koon se awamir hain which are actually acting upon yourself and what are the psychological thoughts pattern or what are the psychological aspects jinko ke madde nazar rakhna aap ke liye zaruri hoga when you have to talk about focusing upon decision making and problem solving. Another thing is that the leader needs to understand the perspective. Ke kis perspective mein, kin halat aur vaqiyat mein the leader needs to take the action. Or wo perspective uske liye kya circumstances wo generate kar rahe hain. So when we talk about the perspectives, so there are certain mindful perspectives we, we, which we need to understand. For example, what is the leader's perception about reality? The reality which is prevalent around him. The reality which is existing around him or her which is creating issues and problems and which is actually coming up with the challenges. So a leader hakikat ke baare mein kya aashnai wo rakhta hai. So that is something which leader needs to understand. Or us hakikat ko jaanne ke liye uske paas sources kya hain. What are the value systems which he or she is following. The second thing is that the leader needs to talk about and the leader needs to think about the conscious transformation. Because usko apne unconscious mind processes ko wo overcome karna hai taake uska conscious mind should be better able to respond to the requirements of the situation. The third aspect is basically that the leader needs to see ke uske experience mein koon koon se accidents and incidents hain jo uski personality ko uske thinking patterns ko wo shake up, shake up, shake up kar rahe hain. Or us thinking patterns mein Obviously, usko is baat ko bhi sochna hai ke uske jo psychodynamic development of thought hai, wo psychodynamic perspectives hai, wo kyun kar develop, wo ho rahe hai. And the obviously phenomena coming up is that the leader needs to be more resilient. Usko tough hona hai, usko adaptive hona hai, usko flexible hona hai, aur saath hi saath uske andar persistence ki capability ka hona, wo bohut zaruri hai. Jab ek leader persistent hoga, to tab hi wo challenges of life ko, Better Torpa deal wo kar sakega. 
अगर हम इस सारी बात को कंक्लूड करें तो याद रखिएगा कि द लीडर नीड्स टू कम अप विद द इन्वायरमेंट जिससे इन्वायरमेंट में फॉलोअर्स अपनी क्रिएटिविटी और इनोवेशन को बुरा कार ला सकें और लीडर अपनी परसेप्शन अबाउट रियलिटी से अपनी अंडरस्टैंडिंग अबाउट द इन्वायरमेंटल सर्कमस्टांसिस से वो चीज़ों को ओवरकम कर सके प्रॉब्लम्स को ओवरकम कर सके और ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बेहतर तौर पर अपने ऑब्जेक्टिव अचीव कर सके थैंक यू